Your country always stages a magnificent fair, Duke Windsor. Thank you, ma'am. Despite our economic problems, the Renaissance Fair is an important tradition. I want to thank you for inviting Scott and myself. It's always a pleasure to have you as my guest, ma'am. Your many factories in our country have brought thousands of jobs to our people. It's the least I can do. I couldn't have done it without your help. Maybe that's why you're a Duke. <laughs> I'm afraid I only inherited my title. You're just too modest, man. Many of the treasures you see were worn by the ancient rulers of our country. The ring you see is known as the Mystery Ring. Inscribed with the letter V on the inside of its band, it's one of a set of three. Together, it is said the rings will reveal one of the world's greatest treasures. Unfortunately, the whereabouts of the other two rings is unknown. Not quite true. Let's go. This is the second ring of the three. A family heirloom. And the third, lost for centuries. <laughs> oh, okay, we're ready. Say mozzarella. Uh, I don't know. Uh, all I could see was a blinding flash of light. Come on, T-Bob. I went to a lot of trouble to put that camera inside of you. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I'll try it again. Oh, watch the birdie. T-Bob, if we don't hurry and get this picture, we won't have time to turn it into a postcard for Gloria. We'll be home before she gets it in the mail. Maybe we ought to just buy her a postcard. Forget it, T-Bob. Just take the picture. I'm uh, out of film. Aw, oh, gee. Confirmed. I've got a picture of one of their boots. Merlin the Magician would have been impressed. There's got to be more to it than just stealing a handful of artifacts. My guess is they stole the whole display to cover up the theft of the mystery ring. But without all three rings, it's worthless. You can take that to the bank, Bruce. I'm betting Venom's got an inside line on all three. Scan the personnel files for the mask agents best suited for this mission. Personnel selected. Bruce Sato, mechanical engineer and design specialist. Vehicle code name, Rhino. Alex Sector, computer and communications expert. Rhino Systems Commander. Personnel approved. Assemble Mobile Armored Strike Command. It's gonna be a royal postcard for Gloria. What do you mean a royal postcard? 
Because <laughs> she's been waiting for her prince to come. <laughs> Get it? I still think it's dangerous for you to wear the second ring. If my hunch is right, whoever stole the first ring is after the other two. I appreciate your concern, Matt, but our police will handle it. I'm sure the stolen ring will be safely returned within a few days. And in the meantime? I have an archaeologist searching for the third ring now. If he finds it, I'll use the treasure to resolve our economic problems. If the treasure exists? I'm convinced it does. Our archives tell us one of our early rulers had a vast amount of wealth. When he was about to lose his throne, he hid it. Instead of a map to its location, he left three rings. I'm not worried about the Duke's safety when he's home. He has an elaborate security system. It's whenever he leaves. He's easy prey for venom. Right. That's why I put a tracer on his car. Well, old chap, I must say, this is the first time I've ever been a guardian angel. Somehow, I just can't picture you with wings, Alex. Yes. It would be rather difficult getting into my uniform, wouldn't it? <laughs> Okay, remember to stay out of sight. Sleeping gas. Just like the Renaissance Fair. Yeah, let's check the Duke. Out like a light. Lifter on. Looks like Venom really caught us sleeping on the job. Well, chaps, that's two rings for Venom, and none for the home team. At least he's not hurt. And if Venom wanted it any other way, they had their chance. He's coming too. Bruce, Alex, go back to your post. 
I'll take care of the Duke. T-Bob, how is Gloria going to recognize me with only the top of my head showing? And just tell her it's a point of interest. That's PJ's. Get him out, quick! Oh, wow, uh, take a look, Scott. Ah, oh, perfect shot. I knew I could do it. What are we gonna do, T-Bob? Send Gloria Dad's pajama shorts? Sure. Tell her we saw the country from the bottom up. Hey, you did it, T-Bob. Now all we gotta do is borrow some money from Dad and have it made into a postcard. This is the only section we haven't excavated. According to my research, it's got to be here. I can just feel it. Did you hear that? <laughs> I can just feel it. I love playing the spider. Yeah, and I can't wait until the three flies find the ring. I could kick myself for losing the ring. Where were you going? To see my archaeologist at Sunhenge. Look, Gerald, I still want to help you recover the stolen rings. But to do that, I'd like to know the inscription of the ring you were wearing. I suppose it won't hurt. It isn't much of a secret anymore now that the thieves have it. The letter X was engraved in the band. What does it mean? No one knows. The third lost ring is said to hold the key to the location of the treasure. I've got a great shot to make the postcard for Gloria. Can I borrow some money? Later, Scott. The postcard shop will be closed. I don't have time. Time? That's it. What's it, Dad? I have a hunch. The X stands for the Roman numeral 10 on an ancient sundial. And the B on the first ring could stand for the Roman numeral 5. This is Sunhenge. It's an ancient Roman time clock, a sundial. The Duke said his archaeologist was looking for the third ring here. Now let's see if my hunch about the Roman numerals is correct. The B and the X on the first two rings must correspond somehow with the numerals on the stones. There's only one place Venom could be now. Let's roll, men. far away to hear you. Darn it! We've got to follow him. What for? He forgot to give me money for Gloria's postcard. Motor scooter mode, T-Bob. The lost ring. Not anymore. Please, not the ring. Tie him up in a cave and put him asleep till we're done. I am the third ring of three. My number is one, as you can see. Place all three stones. One, five, ten and very rich become all men.
better cover our canister. Follow me! Spectrum on. Alex, Bruce, pick up the archaeologist and his men and get out of here. The treasure was mine. I did all the legwork. I'll even this score someday, Mask. Wait and see. Boy, the Duke was sure happy to get those diamonds. He's going to use them to help his country's money problems. And I want to thank you and T-Bob for giving me a hand. That's right. In the face of danger, we came through. But now you're going to have to face the real danger. The real danger? Yes, me and the discipline I'm going to think up for you for going to Sunhenge without permission. Before you read Scotty's last will and testament, uh, could, could I take a picture of him? It might be the last time we see him smile. <laughs> Can you hang 10, T-Bob? Sorry, being all metal, I can only hang in. Oh. Oh. You okay? You should never skateboard on the street. A guy can get flattened that way. T-Bob's right. We only skate on private property or skateboard clubs. Come on, ride with us. Oh, oh. think I better stick to motor scooter mode. Fox Kids, Fox Kids, Fox Kids, 
Fox Kids.